collector booster box time. Yes, here in Toronto, we paid a whopping $379.95 plus tax. Some places are even charging more than this, but this is what I got. This four, uh, I think it it was, I mean, it's not, I don't want to say it's a good deal because uh, everyone knows what I feel if you've seen my videos about this, but... Uh, yeah, let's crack this open, and uh, hopefully we get some value back. Um, if you guys have seen any of Rudy's videos, uh, there is a pattern in this. Uh, basically, if you get one of... I'm going to grab a pen. This is insane. If you guys get one of the full-frame foil box toppers, uh, all the ones will be bunched together, and usually you get about... Uh, two, three, or four box toppers per collector booster box. Four being the highest, obviously, which is what we're hoping for. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a shame because it means these are mappable, and if you guys have the, uh, the LGSs that are actually giving out the collector boosters as part of the promo, they may have actually mapped them and got the put the cheaper ones aside and, open, and kept the other ones for themselves. It's just the thoughts. So I'd be a little bit careful. All right, so here they are. They look nice and shiny. I'm gonna just just adjust this a little bit. Let's get them a little further back. Okay. All right. So let's crack these open. So left side, right side. We'll start here. I'm pretty excited. This is a. I've already opened one pack before with the promo booster buy box promo, but uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Uh, blow your house down. So tiny, eye collector. Oh, there we go. Already getting a foil showcase. Very nice. I can put that aside. Um, Merchant of the Veil, vale. Lonesome Unicorn, Forever Young, Smitten Swordmaster. Now we're getting to the Uncommons. Uh, Edge Wall Innkeeper. Cool. D uh, Drown a Lock. This is a very nice card, actually. It's worth a few bucks. Uh, Lonesome Unicorn. Is the showcase first showcase card Queen of Ice and Silver Flame Squire? And we got for ancillary slot Mace of the Valiant, pretty cool. And for our box topper non foil, Fabled Passage, very nice. One of the better ones to definitely get for sure. And is it a box topper or is it regular? It's a regular foil. It is Wicked Wolf, not too bad. Wicked Wolf is a decent, uh, I think it's a decent card. I and mean, there's our Dwarf Foil Token. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting first pack. Oh, there we go. We have a really, really nice common right away here with the Witching Well. This thing fetches almost $10. And it's funny that I see. Uh, wait, no, never mind. It's the land. I was, uh, wow. Just completely ignore what I just said. But it is a good, it's actually a pretty good uh, common foil as well. I thought it was the land. Okay, blow your house down so tiny, I collector, Dauntless. Okay, so we didn't get any showcase cards there. That's a little bit disappointing, but Dauntless Knights, Overwhelming Apprentice, and we got uh, Animating Fairy, okay. Smitten Swordmaster, Fairy Guide Mother, and it's a land. Thorn, ugh, these feel so gross to get. Absolutely disgusting for a pack of the like, $30 they're charging. Oh well, uh, what do we got in here? Witch Claw Talisman, okay, all right, not too bad. And the Magic Mirror, Foil Mythic, nice. That is pretty, pretty awesome. Put that over there, there's a Knight token. The all food tokens at the side, if you uh, turn them around. Okay, so Rimrock Knights, uh, Weapon Rack, Wish, uh, Wishful Merfolk, Ardenville Tactician, nice. Okay, uh, what am I doing here? Trying to organize these piles as I go along. Uh, what did I do? Where did my showcase foil go? Uh, okay, I'll just put this over here. Uh, Fell of the Pheasants, Ardenvale Paladin, Blood Haze Wolverine, Venerable Knight. Okay, so that's these are all the commons. And then we have an uncommon showcase foil. Very nice. Uh, wow, that's cool. Oak Oakham Ranger. Very nice. And Flaxen Intruder, Embereth Shieldbreaker, Tuinville Tree Folk, and Knight's Charge. Very nice. This is a really good rare. 
Uh, I think it's about $10 right now, but it's good. If people are going to build night decks for standard, this is going to be a card you're going to need in it. Okay, so... Feasting Troll King, pretty cool. And it's a showcase. Murderous Rider. Wow. That looks amazing. I've seen a lot of people already pulling this, so I don't know how rare this showcase foil is. It's definitely not as rare as a foil borderless planeswalker, but still very, very cool. Really, really, really nice. Okay. And the rat token. Okay. So far, no uh, actual box topper foils. I know they're, uh, you only get a few per box. Merfolk Secret Keeper, Scalding Cauldron, bleh, Return of Nature, Toonville Tree Folk, pretty nice. Uh, Gingerbread Cabin, there's the land. If we get this, it's actually fetchable, these lands too. A foil Opt, really nice. I need that actually. Curious Pair, wow, we got two uh, showcase foils in this. Ah, that's pretty good. Shine Caster. Bog Naughty, okay, and we got Merfolk, Secret Keeper, Garen Brig Carver, Rimrock Knight, and our ancillary is Ru uh, Rowan Stalwarts. We still haven't gotten any of the Brawl deck uh, Mythics commanders, so that's kind of huh, interesting. Uh, and we have a Linden, the Steadfast Queen, okay. Is it a box stopper? Oh, it's another showcase? Giant Killer. Oh, that feels bad. It's like one of the worst showcase foils you can get. All right, well, that feel ba feels bad, man. Damn. Okay. All right. I don't know if that takes away from my box toppers. That will be sad if it does. Uh, Ideal Grange, Silver Flame Ritual, Thrill of the Possibility, Merfolk Secret Keeper, Scalding Tal uh, Cauldron, Return to Nature... Ember Shieldbreaker. Okay, so no showcase there. And it looks like there's none complete. Yeah. Cauldron's Gift. We got a rare Lovestruck Beast. Smitten Swordmaster. We got a box topper at the back here. Uh, Rosenthorn Acolytes. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Corvold Fey Cursed King. Really cool. And our showcase card. Gaddick the uh, Wizened. Okay, we still haven't gotten a Mythic of uh, these yet. Hmm. And our showcase is... Yarvo, Lord of Garenbrig. All right, I don't know how I feel about that. It's there, though. Yeah, okay. Uh, cool. There's a human token. So this one should be another box stopper, if Rudy's videos say anything true about what's happening here. Another uh, foil Rimrock Knight. Reaper of the Knights. Tall as a beanstalk. Shining armor. Seven dwarves. Mantle of the Tides. Roving Keep. Animating Fairy. Really cool. Uh, Skull Knocker Ogre. Okay. Uh, Rose and, Rose at Thorn Acolyte. Lonesome Unicorn. Garenbrig Carver. And Fairy Formation. Okay. And we got a Gilded Goose. Nice. Extended art. And we do have a box stopper, so Rudy's videos are holding true. Return of the Wild Speaker. One of the worst ones you can get. Cool. All right. Sweet. That was not very sweet at all, actually. It was very terrible. All right. So if those were the only two uh, box toppers that I've gotten, then this was a garbage fire, dumpster fire, piece of crap, not even a mythic in there. Uh, very bad. Sorry, I'm, I'm pretty upset with that because <laughs> uh, those are none of them are f mythic at all, and uh, I don't think any of them are necessarily going to see any standard play or legacy or commander. So, very yeah. I again, I've already expressed how much I don't think these are anything special, but you know I have to get them anyways because I'm an idiot because I'm a Timmy. Okay, so we got a giant killer here. Okay, uh, Falmire Knight. Uh, fair, fairy Guide Mother, Wind Scarred Cry. Wow, okay. And then we got Sorceress Fire Glass, and then uh, we got Charming Prince. Okay, cool. I don't know. Well, yeah, okay, whatever. All right, so that looks like it was it. I got those two, and this is going to be a two-box one, which uh, is very upsetting. Um, I'm just going to blast through the rest of these because I already know I'm not getting anything good in here. Uh, Beanstalk Giants, uh, okay, yeah. 
Shepherd of the Flock, Fairy Godmother, Thorn Mammoth, and then we have Robber of the Rich. Oh, that's pretty good. And Fae of Wishes, not bad. Uh, Robber of the Witch is actually a mythic, so it's our first mythic uh, showcase extended art. Rats, but we're not going to get any more box toppers, unfortunately. I don't think so, unless something shocking happens. Okay, Reaper of the Night, Dwarven Meyer. There is. Oh, wait, still haven't had that the land that's worth a lot for the common slot. That's kind of upsetting. Um, Hypnotic Sprite. Okay, Merchant of the Veil. Arcade thing, okay. Wow, that feels good. Um, Castle Lock, Wayne, and Bone Crusher Giant. Cool. Yeah. I don't care. All right. So this is terrible. Uh, this is really bad. Okay, it's Reaper of the Night. Okay, Dwarf of Mice. I still haven't gotten the... It's unbelievable. Okay, Merchant Seville, Curious Pair, Queen of Ice, Silver Sing Swing. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Okay, you suck. Uh, black, let say, yeah, you're garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage! We have two packs left of trash. Guys, do I can't stress to be very careful when you're thinking about purchasing these. I would have kept it sealed, but I think it's important that people see what they're getting when they open these. Uh, yeah, because uh, they're not good. Okay, so you got one of the Brawl deck, Mythics, and uh, Lockmer, uh, Lockmer Serpent, and Witch's Vengeance. So, not very good at all. Yeah, all right. Fun times. Fun, fun, fun times. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, the only land I haven't gotten is the actual valuable one, the blue. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to go through again. I don't remember seeing it. Chittering Witch. Okay. Opportunistic Dragon. Sucks. And Midnight Glock. All right. Trash. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I lost a few hundred dollars, so that's pretty cool.